The most successful propaganda tactic that white oppressive forces deploys against black people are self-fulfilling prophecy propaganda. Self-fulfilling prophecy propaganda are false information fed to a targeted population that are deliberately designed to negatively impact the targeted population at a psychological level upon accepting it as being true. To restate it more simply, a self-fulfilling prophecy is when people's behavior aligns with an originally false narrative, thus making it true. People's behaviors align with what they've been made to believe. Therefore, people can be misled to believe false things that are deliberately designed to change their collective behaviors in ways that negatively impact their communities, such as witness when although African-Americans have been reporting crime to law enforcement since the abolition of slavery, a few decades ago, white propagandists fed the false narrative into the black community that most African-Americans live by a no-stitching policy. We don't report crime. Those of us that are ignorant, naive, and gullible accepted the false narrative as being true and then stopped reporting crime they witnessed. Thus made it true for many of us. This change within the African-American community created greater hardships within the black community. This is not some feeble attempt to absolve ourselves of our own responsibilities by wrongly blaming whites as so many of us have been brainwashed to respond and to think. It's the absolute truth. Self-fulfilling prophecy propaganda is a well-proven social science tactic that white oppressive forces routinely deploys against the African-American population. That's also witnessed when white propagandists fed the false narrative into the black community that we made the N-word ours. Then again, those of us that are ignorant, naive, and gullible accepted the false narrative as being true and started calling ourselves niggers. Then the other millions of us got pulled into doing so by what's called the herd mentality. The herd mentality is a tendency of people people's behavior or beliefs to conform to those of the group to which they belong, regardless of how ridiculous or idiotic their beliefs and behaviors are. The reason why they use the self-fulfilling prophecy propaganda to manipulate us to call ourselves niggers is because to subjugate and control a targeted population, the first step is to neutralize their alpha males, aka those possessing warrior spirits. Uh, these are these are those um, males that are psychologically wired to protect our women and protect our communities. White social scientists neutralize the black alpha males by socially engineering millions of us to self-identify ourselves as niggers because words have power over the, our subconscious mind. Words, when repeated often enough, shapes our thoughts. And a thought, when held long enough, becomes a belief. A belief then becomes our biology. We psychologically become the words that we repeatedly call ourselves. It's why men that call themselves thugs are more likely to engage in a fight than to avoid a fight. It's also why women that proclaim themselves as being bitches often become stubbornly unreasonable. We psychologically become the words we, we call ourselves. We function based upon the words we repeatedly call ourselves. It's a psychological phenomenon that white social scientists have thoroughly studied. When we repeatedly call ourselves niggers, this conditions us to perceive ourselves through a false inherent subordinate identity that aids the white society in maintaining its social dominance over us. Have you ever noticed that those African-Americans who refuses to call themselves niggers tend to carry themselves with a higher degree of self-respect as well as commands more respect from others? Currently, many black men believe that they're making a impactful statement when they declare that themselves as being real niggers. I'm a real nigger. But these black men are totally ignorant of the fact that white social scientists intentionally attach the word, the term real nigger to black masculinity 
in order to get black men to insist that they're real niggas. Those black men are in fact ignorant of their own ignorance. I will not be silent to appease black ignorance, especially when it's black ignorance that hinders our black liberation. Furthermore, a speaker of truth has no friend, and those who know the truth must teach African proverb. The truth is that calling ourselves niggers actually conditions us to perceive ourselves through a false and inherent subordinate identity that aids the white society in maintaining its social dominance over us. It's also the reason why 90% of men sagging are also the same ones calling themselves niggers. They sag because they think they're niggers. And that's just how niggers are supposed to dress. They're literally functioning based upon the narrative that they are niggers. White oppressive forces have placed an elaborate spell upon the subconscious minds of many African Americans with the word nigger. When we call ourselves niggers, this also separates us from our unified African heritage. Without having a base identity to connect to our vast cultural wealth, over time we become further fragmented and become weaker as a people. We can then be made into anything the water presses wants us to be made into. Self-identifying ourselves as niggers also psychologically divides us from native Africans. When Africans are divided globally, we lose our, numeral, our global numeral advantage and lose all hope of defeating global white supremacy. Every couple of decades, white propaganda creates and feeds false information into our communities that are designed to give us reasons to continue calling ourselves niggers. Several, several years back, they created the narrative that uh, changing the spelling to N-I-G-G-A now empowers us. But that's a goddamn lie. A nigger by any spelling is still a downtrodden nigger because the subconscious mind does not see the different spelling. The latest propaganda spread into our communities is that we should call ourselves niggers, N-E-G-U-S, because it's an ancient Ethiopian word meaning king. However, critically think and look at the facts. There are over, there are in fact um, two, more than 2,000 languages and dialects in Africa. And each one of them have at least three words that means king, king or ruler. Three words meaning king. Given which, given with so many thousands of words also meaning king in Africa, don't you therefore find it just a little bit suspicious that the only one of them that's being spread into the black community just happened to the be the one niggers, N-E-G-U-S, that sounds exactly like the original word of niggers? To believe that this is a, a incredible coincidence is extremely naive. Clearly the word niggers is being deliberately used. It was deliberately chosen and propagated into our communities to serve a particular agenda. The, word, the Ethiopian word of niggers is being misused to keep African Americans functioning based upon the original psychological spell created by the original N-word because the subconscious mind doesn't see the different spelling. Millions of African Americans have been socially engineered to call themselves niggers. And the programming is so strong that many will accept any frivolous reason to continue doing so. White oppressive forces are playing chess while black people are not even playing checkers, but are in fact instead playing hopscotch. Because most are totally clueless of the covert war that's been waged against us by white oppressive forces. This is why those who know must teach. The time of believing the dumb shit is over. It's time to wake up to our reality. You are a fool when you call yourself a nigger. You are a fool to think you can justify it. You're a fool when you're calling your women bitches and hoes. You're a fool when you're praying to the God be ungodly enslavers. You are a damn fool when you believe a Bible brutally beat into the minds of our ancestors will now set us free. You're ignorant and brainwashed. Those who tell you the truth are trying to free your mind. 